Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. The point D is equidistant from the points A and B. We want to find all the values of K, the K component. So let's go ahead and draw out a triangle to represent what's going on here. So the point D, they're saying is equidistant to two other points, points A and points B. It's stating that this length right here and this length right here are the same. And it's saying that because it's going to help us actually define an equation that's going to allow us to find all the values of k. So what is this right here? This is actually a directed line segment. The directed line segment of d to a is equivalent to the directed line segment from d to b. But to be more specific, it's the length of these segments, not the vectors themselves. It's the length. And what I'm doing right now is this is how you denote length put two vertical lines on the left and right hand side. So the length of this is equivalent to the length of this. So this is the equation that we created that's going to allow us to solve for the component k in, in the point d. But the first thing we need to find here is the, the actual direct line segment from d to a. So to do this we have to take the vector a and subtract it by the vector d. This would give us that directed line segment. So the vector a is right there. It's going to be 2 subtract the vector d, which is k, comma, then we have the vector 1, subtract the vector 1, comma, component negative 5, subtract the other component, and this will give us the directed line segment for d to a, and it's supposed to be equal to the other directed line segment, segment from d to b. So doing the same thing, we have 1 subtract k, comma, negative 2 subtract 1, and we have 4 subtract 5. So we have both of our direct line segments, d to a and d to b, and now we just have to find a length of them. So how do we find length of a vector? Well, we're going to be using the, the uh, formula for the length of a vector. And what it is, is it's uh, it's all of the components of the vector squared and added together first off. So 1 subtract 1 is 0, so just put 0 squared. It's really just 0 at this point. Adding on to negative 10 looks like negative 10 squared. All of this square rooted. This is how you find a length of a vector. And this particular thing right here, this is the length of the, the directed line segment from, I believe it's A to D, sorry, D to A. So this is equivalent to, the, we're going to do the same thing over here. It's going to be 1 subtract k squared add, then we have, what is that, negative 3, negative 3 squared add, then we have negative 1 squared, and all of this square rooted. So now we just use some algebra to solve for the k variable right there, and that would be our answer. So we're going to square both sides, get rid of that. We're going to have 2 minus k uh, squared uh, plus 0 is going to be nothing. Negative 10 squared is going to be plus 100. And it's going to be equal to, then we have over here the same thing, 1 subtract k squared. Then we have plus 9, then we have plus 1. So overall that's plus 10 if you add them together. So now let's multiply this binomial here out a bit. It's going to be 4 subtract and we're going to have 4k, then positive k squared plus 100 is going to be equal to, we have 1 subtract 2k, then plus k squared plus 10. Let's put all of the k variables onto the left hand side and all the, the actual constants to the right hand side. So if we did that we would get negative 4k plus k squared, then we have positive 2k, negative k squared, and that takes care of the variables. Now we're going to have, what is it, 1, add 10, or just 11, let's put 11 there instead, 11, then subtract 4, and minus 100. So simplifying this, we have positive k squared here and a negative 1 there. They cancel out, so let's cross those out. Negative 4k plus 2k is negative 2k overall, is equal to, what do we have over here? We have negative 104 plus 11. That's going to be 93, or negative 93 actually. Negative 93. So now if we divide both sides by negative 2, we can isolate k. It's kind of cramped down there, so I'm going to move my answer just over here. So that's going to be k equals negative, actually the negatives would cancel out, so it's going to be 93 over over two. And that is the value of k. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you're having a fantastic day.